Now in this example, once we have finished completing the square, it's easy to take our, our um, answer that we got for completing the square to find the vertex to find our roots. So here's our original problem, x plus 13 over 2 squared minus 5, 29 over 4 equals 0. We're going to solve for the square, so I'm going to add 5, 29 over 4 to both sides. So I'm going to get x plus 13 over 2 squared equals 529 over 4. Now we get to apply the square root to both sides. So I get x plus 13 over 2 equals, and I believe 529, let's see what the square root of 529 is. 529 to the 1 half power is 23. So I then get 23 over the square root of 4, which is 2, so I get plus or minus that. So now I minus 13 over 2 to both sides. Okay, so we're going to get 23 minus 13, which is uh, 10 over 2, which is 5. Then we get negative 23 minus 13. Negative 23 minus 13 is negative 36 divided by 2, and we get negative 18. And those are your two roots, 5 and negative 18.